Dahlgren by Samuel R. Delaney. One of the preeminent novels by one of the preeminent authors of the American New Wave of Science Fiction, which occurred in the late 1960s and early 1970s and was um, pioneered by such authors as Delaney himself, um, Thomas M. Dish, and uh, Robert Silverberg, and Philip K. Dick. I want to say right now that out of all those authors, Philip K. Dick is the best by a country mile. Um, just my opinion. You can disagree with that. Feel free. But um, having read several books out of that time period um, in the science fiction genre and out of that era of its history, I can say with a, with, with a fair degree of uh, confidence that Philip K. Dick led the pack. But that's neither here nor there. Uh, right now, I want to talk about Dahlgren by Samuel R. Delaney, one of the most structurally brilliant novels I have ever read. Um, that's not to say that I liked the novel overall. I really didn't. Um, it didn't stir me in any way. It didn't do anything for me, really. Uh, the writing was inconsistent. Uh, and they're, they're, narratively, it felt a little hollow to me, but on a basic structural level um, on how this story is told, this is probably the most brilliant book that I've ever read, just in that area alone. Because this story takes, like, this story is a roller coaster. It takes some loops and twists and turns. Um, but what is this story about? Uh, there's not much per se, in terms of a real plot in that one event precipitates another. Um, it is just rather a series of occurrences, which um, it's just a series of occurrences in this city named Bologna, a fictitious city, by the way, named Bologna, and it follows the um, Wanderings of the Kid, a, this nameless character known only as the Kid, through this city. Now, Bologna, like I said, is a fictitious city. Obviously, I don't think there is any city in America named Bologna, but this city, but this book takes place in the somewhere in Middle America, in a middle Mid American city named Bologna, um, which. Weird things happen in this city. This city very much appears to be removed from the normal flow of time and physics. Uh, the sun, there's sometimes two suns in the sky, I think. Within this city, you have to enter the city over a tall bridge. Um, it's cut off societally from the rest of the world. And it's kind of this haven of reprobates and um, people who are kind of fleeing something because nobody really wants to go in this city. The kid is this, I think it says he's like half white, half Native American. And he, 20-something year old guy, and he enters the city. He only wears one shoe, one boot. I don't know why that was such an important thing that he only ever wears one shoe, but that's a major part of his character, apparently, so I thought I'd make that known. He enters this city, and the rest of the book is just his exploits within Bologna with a street gang called the Scorpions uh, and uh, his interactions with the various residents of this city. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to, don't worry about me spoil, spoiling the plot of this. That's near, nearly impossible to do. I hope you will bear with me with this review or discussion because this is a hard book to really pin down. I cannot praise this book enough in terms of its structure. And it's hard to even explain what, why, why it is so brilliant, but just know that, um, it, it, its structure is one of the most uh, unique things, probably the most unique, probably the most unique thing I've ever read in terms of how it tells its story, 
Um, towards the end of the book, uh, it does some really interesting narrative um, tricks, which I greatly appreciated and I greatly admired. Uh, uh, and it's it's just a wild ride, y'all. It is a wild ride through the city of Bologna. And by the way, this book is 1970s to the max. Uh, this book, if, if you did not know when this book was written, you could probably tell within a pretty short amount of time that it was written in the 1970s because it is 1970s 100%. Uh, it is a long book. This is not a beach read. This is a brick of a book. It's like 800-something pages, pretty small print in this edition. Um, I, I, hope, I hope I'm doing this book justice. Uh, it's, 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 it's something. That's all I can say about this book, really, is that it is something. What exactly that something is is up to each person to decide. To me, this book is an example of great. Uh, again, the structure of this book is just so brilliant. It took my breath away. And especially that, like, it's divided up into several parts, like five to seven books. The last two books were amazed, or amazed me in the terms of what they did to the story. That last, that last sequence in the final book just turned the entire experience on its head. It made me wonder exactly what I was reading, what was happening, what or what had happened. It was so crazy, so trippy, so loopy. I loved it. Um, conversely, that was really the only really thing about this book that I really loved. The characters in this book are pretty well developed. I'll give it that. The characters in this book are pretty good. Um, the, there's the kid, his girlfriend named Lana, Lana and his other boyfriend named Denny, I think. Yeah, he's, this book is, um, pornographic does not even touch what this book is. It is explicit beyond your wildest imag imaginings. It is, it's just, uh, I don't, uh, it's, I don't, I don't, I usually knock books for being unnecessarily explicit, which this book is, but to knock it on that, it just, that's, a, that's a null point. That's not, I mean, that's, a, that's a nothing to knock this book on, even though I didn't really like that about it. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But anyway, so the book is mainly just the kid wandering around this city, interacting with people, having loads of um, sex with uh men and women all across the city and so there's some racial stuff in there but it's just next to impossible to describe what actually happens in this book it's been about a year and a half or at least yeah about a year yeah two years thereabouts since i read this book but i want to get my thoughts on it out there on the internet because it's not a book that's really talked about a great deal um it is samuel r delaney's um most famous book by a very large margin it is the only thing by him that I have read. Um, probably the only thing by him that I'm going to. Uh, but it's nonetheless, even though it is his best or uh, best known book, um, it's not really talked about that much. It's a very it's a very niche book. It's not something that the average reader is going to pick up, even the average science fiction reader. Uh, and this book is technically science fiction, but that is in no way the focus of it. That is not the focus or the prime objective of this book. The prime gist of this book, to me at least, seemed to be just to toy around with narrative convention and narrative structure and tell this really trippy, loopy story in a memorable way. And it succeeded. It did. It succeeded. The structure is the most brilliant in a book I've ever read, just in what it does in its later parts that thereby retroactively impacts the beginning parts. I hope I'm doing that justice. Um, the characters are pretty good. They're pretty memorable. They're all, they all feel human and realistic. Um, it's sexually explicit, unbelievably. Uh, it is also, um, It is also uh, not a book that seems, uh, the, the writing, the writing in this book 
Um, it's re I thought it was rather inconsistent. The uh, For the vast majority of the book, it's just this relatively unremarkable, fairly simple and straightforward prose, but then there are parts in the book, these brief little bursts of creativity where the writing becomes the most flowery, the most flowery purple prose over the top uh, poetic that I've ever read. It was so jarring to read when you're reading along and it's just the kid went here, the kid did this, and then all of a sudden you get this paragraph of absurdly highbrow writing with words that you probably may not even know written in this loopy poetic style and then it goes right back to the way it, to the original um, writing style. It's very jarring and it's very odd. Uh, I, I, I don't know, like if you could write at that level all along, well, why didn't you? Um, because this book would have been way cooler if it hadn't been written in that poetic, flowery way, start to finish, but it's not. There's just these brief bursts of insane creativity. But I like those parts, I did. Um, it's hard to talk about this book in terms of any kind of themes or anything because I don't, I didn't really pick up on a lot in this book. Maybe I'm just dense, maybe I was oblivious and I missed something, but it didn't really seem to be trying to say much. Um, if you've read it, you can let me know if I, if I just completely missed something, but if you go, if you go into this book wanting to discover, really dig into some deep themes and some real grand thematic material, I think you may be disappointed because this book is just a very, it is just a story told in a highly unusual manner, uh, but it, it is entertaining. It maintained my interest. Well, for the most part, there are parts in this book, there is literally like a 50 page section in this book that is just about moving furniture. I am not even joking. There is a least 50 page, there is an at least 50 page section in this book that is just about moving furniture. Uh, so yeah, it is boring in some places, but overall, if you're in love with the structure and the narrative um, slide of hand that it does, especially towards the end, uh, it's worth reading because I, it took my breath away with how psychedelic the structure of this book is. It really is something to behold. Uh, but at that being said, I can't really recommend this book because it's, again, it's such a niche product. It's not something that everybody's going to enjoy. Uh, I didn't enjoy it that much. I I was, I applauded how it was written or the how the story unfolded. I didn't really, and the characters were good pretty much, but I didn't really connect with any I, I I didn't really connect with it on really much of a deeper level because it didn't seem to be saying a whole lot. But for what it is, it is a remarkably um, unique book. And if you like unique things, if you like um, things that are very novel, um, pun intended, because this is a novel, this is a novel novel, you might like this book. So um, I'm not going to recommend it. I, if I had to rate this, I don't even know that I could. I'd give it like maybe a C, C plus, just right there in the middle. It's weird. It's trippy, but you might enjoy it. I kind of did. So anyway, that is has been my take on Dahlgren by Samuel R. Delaney. I hope you have liked it. Um, if you have read Dahlgren, which I know a lot of people out there probably haven't, uh, what did you think of it? Tell me down in the comments. Uh, if you agree with my take on it, or if you think I missed the point entirely, because I might have, I don't know. But if you haven't read it, um, you might want to, can't say. But as always, remember to like and subscribe, and until next time, peace.